Well, today is a day to thank veterans for their service, sacrifice, and commitment to our country. The official Minnesota State Veterans Day program will start at 10, but the community breakfast is underway now in Invergrove Heights. And joining us this morning to share more about it is Brad Lindsay, Temporary Commissioner of the Minnesota Department of Veterans Affairs. Thank you for joining us, Brad, and thank you for your service. Well, thank you very much, Jennifer. Good to be here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about today's celebration honoring Minnesotans who served? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this is the official uh, State of Minnesota Veterans Day event and recognition. And we're in uh, Invergrove Heights at the Veterans uh, Memorial Community Center here. Uh, we're starting with a breakfast for anyone who wishes to attend. Uh, actually just started. We have about uh, more than 100 folks, I would say, already here uh, in the facility. Uh, once breakfast wraps up, we're going to start our official program at 10 a.m. Uh, that will include our uh, keynote speaker. His name is uh, Stephen Whitehead. He's a retired senior enlisted advisor from the Minnesota National Guard, Command Sergeant Major, uh, and also past national commander of the Disabled American Veterans. Uh, he's going to be our speaker as, as well as some congressional representatives, and I'll be emceeing the event and just, just making sure veterans realize and understand that they're still recognized and appreciated here in Minnesota. Absolutely. It sounds like an incredible program today, and I've been to ones like this, and they can be really moving. Absolutely. Uh, um, you know, you meet folks at these events that uh, y their service is just incredible. Uh, I've met folks who were uh, went into Omaha Beach at Normandy in the past, and uh, uh, it's just connecting with history, really. Absolutely. Can you share some of the history of this day? Sure. So uh, uh, Veterans Day actually started as Armistice Day. Uh, so the first anniversary of the armistice in World War I, uh, which would have been November 11th, uh, 1919, was the first official observance. Uh, it kind of morphed into Veterans Day and became an official holiday uh, over time. Um, but yeah, it was all based on that uh, November 11th, so 11th month, 11th day, and 11 a.m. is when the ceasefire and the armistice uh, went into effect uh, between the Allies and the Axis powers in World War I. Thank you for sharing that with us and for sharing today's ceremony and celebration with us. We so appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, Jennifer. Appreciate it. The event is at the Veterans Memorial Community Center in Invergrove Heights. The program starts at 10 and will also be live streamed.